So, how's the family? Sterile, so, uh, I don't have one. <laughs> killed my dad. He <laughs> killed my dad. Don't have much of a family to speak of, actually. I appreciate your interest, though. Thanks for the formal questions. <laughs> Why don't we talk about the weather instead? Okay, how's the weather? I don't know. We're in space. We don't have weather. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this damn music. I just get right in Rex's face and start singing it as loud as I can. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? Pardon me, I want in on this conversation. I want part of this conversation. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless. I'll talk to him. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you. I overhear everything. What were you everything. trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Kill you? How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Maybe he's in love with you. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home. Just waiting for a chance. I mean, that's a possibility. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. He doesn't want you dead. He wants you in his bed. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Well, let's go to wherever. Where am I going? Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard? Who are you? Oh man, this is from way back in the past. You don't remember this, but she asked you to find some data, and then you found some data, and you just never turned it into her. I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. Did I? You recently took down a man named Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? That was months ago. Uh, would these help? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Okay, bye. Uh, I think I, I think I told hey, this guy to screw off. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. D doesn't this guy appear in like every game? Depends on you. I apologize for being short with you before. What do you need? This will be fast. I just wanted you to know what a big fan I am, and I was wondering if I could get a picture. Sure. I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. That's really creepy. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Can I get on the picture, too? Sure. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. You've made that fan happy. Uh, I made somebody happy, I guess. About time, somebody. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Uh, these all sound very... They're the exact same, yes. Just different, way, just different ways of saying the same thing. I... You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Your friend, Jalid, told us about you. I mean, why should I trust him, though? You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little... over our heads. How so? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. Sigh. <laughs> I should kill both of you idiots. <laughs> we lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Sure, I guess. If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. I'm sure this guy's still probably trying to kill him, but whatever, I don't really care. There are a few unlicensed vendors who operate out of the markets here. Sometimes they have good stuff for sale. Oh, that's cool. One time I bought a pocket knife. It exploded. Don't trust these guys. <laughs> 
Like it actually, like it was a hand grenade going off, <laughs> not just like it, not just like it exploded into a bunch of pieces. Like it, poof! <laughs> just the moment you try to open it. Oh, she's talking to him now. Hey, baby, ever done it with a three foot high alien? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we lost Rex. <laughs> oh, we found him again. <laughs> I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. <laughs> Rex is deeply philosophical. <sighs> That's real deep. What is the sound of one hand clasping a shotgun? If one does as Rex does enough times, one becomes as Rex is. <laughs> I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I was it's... hoping I could manipulate you into killing my partner, but it doesn't seem to have worked that way. God, God you guys are both stupid. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us, but, well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. You can get in the elevator and be like, A Volus was found dead in a Shorbin's lab! <laughs> Anybody can be scientists, whether you're black, white, or even a girl. Let all races herald the glory oh, God! Oh no, I bought him a I bought him a thing, so yeah. he's fine. So now he's just kind of there preaching here. Darkness, the enkindlers gave light. I guess. Where there was only ignorance, the enkindlers gave wisdom. Yeah, preach it, brother. Where there was only silence, the enkindlers gave the gift of speech. Yeah. And you're exercising it right now. This very station is the work of the enkindlers. Their gift to all their children. Preach it, jellyfish. <laughs> Ooh, want. domestic disturbance here. I'm the only person making sense right now. Oh god, I don't want to get involved with us. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. Oh, just make your own damn mind. Good lord. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. Well, it's still her choice. I mean, whatever. I don't care, God. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left, too, Michael. And well, now they're gonna go back and start boning. I just want Jacob's child to be <laughs> well, safe. Well, that would be rude. <laughs> I want to give him that much. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is we going. Will. <laughs> I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Oh, here's some money. <laughs> <laughs> she just gave you some experience, that's all. Yeah. She didn't pay you for giving her advice. Yeah, I know. Or lack thereof. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. Tell me about the Rachni Wars. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 20 Every time I say something, ago, Caden looks over at me like, what? what? <laughs> Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. I'm not going to say serves them right because there's a Krogan right behind me. What did you just say? <laughs> You know, I've been thinking about how, how how easy it would be for me to punch your skull apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey there, Nel... Nel... Yena? Nel... Yena? Hi. Nel... Yena? Welcome, I am Nelina. Oh, that's how you pronounce I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet I, with you. Uh, consort? Nalina. Yes, Shay. I like trying to walk back there and she just like Commander tackles me and starts punching to speak me in them. the back of the head. <laughs> this is what she wanted. Yes, of course, mistress. Oh, this is different. 
Look a butt. <laughs> You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. I love a man in uniform. Ugh. You know what being in the US Army gets you? Divorce. <laughs> <laughs> you know what being in the US Marines gets you? Chlamydia. <laughs> That is close enough, Commander. Uh, okay. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our city. Uh, you checking up on me? You? You talking to me? You talking to me? I don't see anybody else here. Other well, than Rex. <laughs> I guess you could be talking to Rex. I mean, he's standing right there. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some. Comfort to others. And I sleep with some of them, too. But that is not why I asked you here. <laughs> I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Uh, tell me about it. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus. Septipus. A retired two general. It's an octopus with seven te I testicles. I details, but <laughs> he wanted me tentacles. to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I Don't believe he me. will listen to you and let the matter be. <laughs> <laughs> I have personal space issues. <laughs> what happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I'll see. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. General? Mm -hmm. I have if personal space issues! I need an adult! I need an adult! I, very I need an adult! Okay. <laughs> now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients. I'm gonna get out of here quick. Oh, let's just run away. Run away, run away. Run, 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 run. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my thoughts exactly, Rex. Are they like like seriously only interested in other Krogans? Krogan? Yeah. Well they need to repopulate. So I would get I would presume that they're like only interested in other Krogans. Ah, mind. General Septopus. Commander. What do you want? Problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? That's a good point, Rex. I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. No, unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut. That's a, uh, um... Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. Yeah. Uh, there's also the other one of when he was he was drinking and some woman sitting next to him said, Mr. Churchill, if I was your wife, I would poison your tea. And he says, woman, if I was your husband, I'd drink it. Yeah. I can help. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... Don't waste your time. I think you should straighten up, buddy. General, did you ever win a battle by mobbing in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Glad to hear it. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. <laughs> After I've had a cold shower or two. And I'll have some bacon and eggs. Say, you're a You'll be fine. Kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? I, that depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Oh, God. All right. Oh, hello, Elcor diplomat. Oh, wait. This is the guy I'm supposed to talk to, isn't it? Maybe? Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. <laughs> no, it's not. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. I went to college for small engine repair. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Um. Goodbye. Not yet. <laughs> I'll be back when I have more to tell you. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? All right, this isn't right. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, 
You of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I do, and you're wrong. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Yeah, I did it! Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It's been like it three months since you've been standing there. <laughs> but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the human specter. Yeah. Is there something I can do for I you? I ran it. Uh, who are you? <laughs> I ran into your let, sister, let I me, guess. Let me just uh, refresh your memory. A while back, you went to a random planet and murdered a bunch of pirates, and one of them turned out to be Nasana Dantius' sister. You're oh. like, oh, if this gets back to the Citadel, this could this could um, ruin Nasana Dantius' name. Oh. You're Nasana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. It didn't end well for her. That sounds like a threat. What? Are you saying she's... I know the truth. Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that... Yeah, you can't manipulate someone that's happened. already been manipulated. You wanted Wait, your what? sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. Admi administrative leave ain't I that shall bad. transfer a little paid. something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. I've got a better deal? Maybe you can blackmail her yourself. I don't think Paragon would involve blackmailing her. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Or you can just accept the offer she's giving you and like, eh, whatever. That's fair enough. I just want to put this whole thing behind me. Understood, Shepard. I will not bother you again. She's gonna try and sleep with me later. And I'm gonna be like, I said I didn't want to be bothered! What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. <laughs> You've never been, have you, boy? <laughs> I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford uh, it. It cost half a year's credits uh, just funny. to go in and talk to her. I understand. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find I her. I already talked sure. to her. She's across the bridge from the embassies. All right, well, whatever. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more humans. Oh, hey, it's Captain Anderson. Hi, how you doing? I saw your fellow's report. If we had known anything about the Thorian, Exogeny would never have been given the permits to start a colony there. Thank God the colony survived. We can't afford to have too many failures out in the Traverse. It's one of our major expansion regions. Oh, okay. Well, that's my job. All in a day's work, Ambassador. Sometimes I envy you, Commander. Running around the galaxy doing whatever you please, never worried about the long-term consequences. No, you leave that to me. I have to look at the big picture. And usually it's not very I mean, pretty. he's a dick, but he's an ambassador, so I don't really know what to expect. Just ignore him, Shepard. The ambassador's a little bitter sometimes. Comes with the job. Strange greetings. <laughs> Strange greetings. This is really not a good time. I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Septipus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Actually, he did find out on his own. Here, this proves it. Caden, I was gonna do that. <laughs> Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. Uh, I wouldn't worry. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was <laughs> a great thing you did. <laughs> He's only one foot away. <laughs> you see, then, not all humans are as you Still say. going. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Oh god, I forgot that I don't like you. Apologetic. Do not listen to my volus compatriot. Oh, he's still here. 
Regardless of your intent. I was just reassuming my position. Pardon me, my leg fell asleep. <laughs> Human, it is always good to see your kind. These guys are I funny. am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Uh, nope. Goodbye, Ambassador. Do you think they lie sincere when they do that farewell. sometimes? Sincere, okay, sincere farewell. Know. Not Enjoy actually sincere. City, With sarcasm, always a pleasure to see you, Commander. With sarcasm, I'm glad you came back. With sarcasm, is there anything else I can get you? With sarcasm, have a nice day, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> With sarcasm, nice armor, Edge Lord. <laughs> We're gonna go talk to the consort. Pardon me, coming through. Important Excuse dude, me. coming through. Important business, client. I see. Even the humans find the consort irresistible. Not really. I'm just here. She. I'm gonna be honest. She kind of freaks me out. I got personal space issues. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Please relax and enjoy yourself. I I relaxed once. It was awful. <laughs> God, I hope I, I hope I don't open this door and she's boning somebody. <laughs> oh, thank God. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking. It's very well written calligraphy. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Uh, no problem. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing. To Is she supposed to be like way more attractive than any of the other? Oh, sorry. I don't know. Uh, Do you find her way more attractive than any other Asari? No, she just looks like most of the other Asari. Racist. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words. Oh, hey, 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 personal space! Bubble! Right here! Become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. I see you read my personal bio, like everyone else. You're not very clairvoyant. You're just... You can read. Good job. Yeah, very astute. You have quite a gift, Chaira. I guess. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Here, Commander. Personal In light space. of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. A trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. Uh, rewarded with you an oddly shaped trinket. It seems to be a Prothean design, but it doesn't have any purpose beyond sentimental value. So you have a little trinket. Doesn't really do much. Okay, well, I got a thing. Yep. There's a suspicious character. Spectre? Who you call Spectre, bitch? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. Uh, I'm not interested. Good, <laughs> good for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. How old do you think I'm she is? I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime Her bosses. Her 30s? They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. She's very stressed. You could do the galaxy a favor. Her interests. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Um, this is an obvious setup. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter. And you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Oh god, do, is this another mission that I can do? Yeah, on a different planet. They're loathsome. Hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Mm, alright, sure, whatever. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men She's are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Med Clinic. Hey, I should have brought Garrus back here. Be like, hey, Garrus, remember when we met here? I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Ooh. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. I sense intrigue. 
She seems really stressed. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. You in trouble again? Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Mm, I will help. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? <laughs> Not what I'm done with. <laughs> they won't be exposing anything except themselves to the coroner. <laughs> they won't bother you again. I guarantee it. Caden is like, what are you getting me you into? <laughs> Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. Rex is like, what are you getting me into? Sounds like we're gonna have a fight. Than... Oh. Rex, you make a better door than a window. Excuse me. <laughs> That's a guy. <laughs> I was just gonna shoot him, but I couldn't <laughs> aim. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Uh, I should go. <laughs> I just put a brick of C4 on the counter and just go, <laughs> I should go. <laughs> you were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor, I don't, this is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Your worst nightmare? <laughs> oh, that's so cliched. I say that and the crow is just like, oh, that's so cliched. <laughs> God, you couldn't come up with anything better than that? You're like 45 minutes from the doctor's office down to here. But seriously, <laughs> look, nothing. Leave the doctor alone. That's not what I tried to say. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. If this doesn't work... We're going full guns blazing. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you, what if you need, treatment? need treatment? Hey, hold on. I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. <laughs> Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. Uh, so who's Baines? What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with a doctor. Okay, I should go. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Thanks for not murdering me. <laughs> Thank you for not murdering me. Oh, God, he's gone. That guy was literally like, I man, I don't even need this job. <laughs> Commander, how did things go? Uh, as expected. He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. Uh, I think we should just get through this game as fast as possible. I shouldn't do all these other side quests. Well... That is the possibility, although if you rush through it without doing some side quests that you feel might be important, you might regret it. Like what? I don't know. I'm not going to spoil nothing for you. Oh, come on. Whatever I have to do to get Tali to be my waifu. <laughs> I think that's secure, as long as you don't get her killed. Okay, I won't get her killed. You say that now. If she dies, I, I have to just start over and figure out what I did wrong. I have to go back in time and fix it. Hey, there he is. No, I'm waiting to. Congratulations on becoming the first human spectator. Wait, didn't I already talk to you? I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people you like you to deal with You just came and inspected my ship, man. Problems. No, it was a different one. Oh. This is Rear Admiral Kahoku, not the other guy. Oh, okay. Um, Baines. Captain Anderson said you'd have information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. I sent a recon group to investigate the system where we found his body. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Again? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Oh, what? Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. Traffic controllers? That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. 
I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. Probably are. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Well, we'll see. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on the ah, we're, we're inside. We're inside Rex's Thanks head. <laughs> I can see what he's seeing. Run, oh God! We can hear what he's lives. thinking. God, I want to punch something. I want to punch something. All right. Well, how do I go? Where do I go for this thing? Emily Wong traffic controller. Oh man, there it is. Traffic controller. Oh, okay. So I just need to go east. Never eat shredded wheat. Yeah, this way. <laughs> oh yeah, west was the correct direction. Never eat shredded wheat. Yeah, that's how you remember north, south, east, west. I had never eat soggy waffles. Oh. I, there's a bunch of different ways to remember it. I always remember it by any DM. Not even Doom music can make this cool. <laughs> that's not... That's not even close. Inconspicuous in location. location. Oh, that's not conspicuous. All I right, we all let's agree go, on that. Let's go back and talk to her. I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Inside Rex's head again. Thank I you see. so much for your I help. See. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. Wow, you gave me a lot if that's everything for your publisher's bu budget. Not much. They don't pay very well. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, hey, it's Garrus. <laughs> this again. <laughs> oh, God, you again. Commander Shepard's a racist. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad you guys came with me on this mission. I'm sure you are, too. We walked around and did... Pretty much nothing. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I know you are. I know you are, Rex. Don't worry. I got some raw meat back here for you. Oh, is his name Caden? <laughs> <laughs> no. 